And what this campaign is about really is um, trying to tackle um, gender-based violence from a different perspective. Um, as part of the 16 days of activism, collectively we came up with the theme of Hug a Child. And I think um, just as being um, an African, a Zimbabwean, it's not really in our culture to have a lot of um, affection towards our children, to hug them. And I think it's really been proven that um, Touch is an important thing in building confidence, inspiring confidence in a child. When he laid a hand on me, I loved him. When he laid down beside me, I desired him. Cracked my rib, broke my teeth, I cherished him. She came for me, but I was stronger than her, and I managed to hold her back. We struggled, and at one point she reached for a knife. She was getting more furious, and when someone is angry, they can become very strong. I felt as I was going to faint. I gathered my strength and pushed her towards the bedroom and ran out to my brother's house. She chased me there with the knife and insulted my brother and his wife using very bad language. <laughs> just arrogant. She said, ah, what do you want me to tell you? It's just business. I said, okay, fine, if it's just business, but this is my stand. I do not want to see any of his stock in this shop. And I told the guy, you, you better get off my grounds or I'll beat you up. <laughs> Rose did not come home that night. The next morning I went to her in the shop and I said to her, where were you last night? Are you trying to tell me that you can do whatever you want? And she was still rude to me. I told her, okay, today you better come home. Today you better come home or you'll regret it. for money so that I could start saving for the children but he said no things are not easy at the office I have so many loans and debts and then he would add you are not praying for me enough and I tell you I prayed for that man and I made sure everything was done for him at home but he still he but still he would come home late around 10 watch the Indian soap opera he loved and then go out again saying I'm off to work and he would come back at about four in the morning and if I complained, I was told to shut my mouth. But the beauty of these women coming together was one cause, hug a child, which is one of the things that we really wanted to do. If we raise them well. Their brief was basically, you know, um, do something for the 16 days of gender, uh, of act activism against gender-based violence. And you know, they came back with this concept, hug a child. I didn't understand it. But when I got into it and when I understood what the concept was, you know, a hug as a, 
a positive, um, you know, um, a positive message, you know, positive touch through a hug was amazing for me. See, I have kids and I understand what it means to my kids when I hug them. They feel loved, they feel safe, they feel secure. And I feel that, you know, the hug a child concept, you know, as a, um, um, a campaign is a fantastic concept. For me this concept was good because you get to hear stories from someone else and you think, wait, that could have been me treating my wife like that or that could have been me treating my child like this. And now I realize that, you know, the impact that I'm um, having on them is really negative. And so I think this is a good concept in that you, you begin to see uh, the story in coming from someone else and you think, you know, that could have been me doing that. What if we show love to the kids as they're younger? Could that actually have an effect, a positive effect on, on their future and, and the future of how they, they are going to treat their spouses, how they're going to react towards the, the opposite sex? Uh, the show was awesome. Um, I really like the Hug a Child concept. And I think uh, this gave a whole new dimension to the whole uh, uh, 16 days of activism. Uh, largely because 16 days of activism for once has been portrayed from a realistic point of view. I, I think a lot of men uh, just generally tend to switch off uh, when there's uh, issues around gender being spoken to because they feel like they're being battered. And I think this show was awesome and I personally really did relate to it because it, it had beautiful stories. It had stories that affected men and stories that affected women which is really what happens uh, when we go to drill down to the real issues. So today we're commemorating the 15 days of activism against gender-based violence and as empowered women of stimulus we came up with the movement called Hug a Child and this was basically to promote um, the power of positivity over violence hoping to curb incidences of gender-based violence. Uh, the Hug a Child show for me has been um, an eye-opener. The, the stories, the, the talent as well in portraying those stories has just been phenomenal. The women um, who joined the Women in Power program of Stimulus, not really knowing each other that well, but having heard of each other in the professional realm and to see them come together, um, not just from the perspective of being asked to do a project, but as sisters in, in, in the art sector who are determined to be business women, who are determined to run their professional careers um, in a professional manner, or more so in a professional manner than they did before. And for them to be able to zero in and bring their talents together to, and find such a pertinent um, subject to work on as a group project, to really reflect on the way we are socialized as individuals, how that impacts our upbringing, our thought processes, and the impact that ultimately has to the kind of people we are in the home, the kind of people we are in the workplace, and being able to turn that on its head and say, hey, listen, if we were to hug each other, you know, hug your children, show love, and deliberately show love more often than you argue and fight and show violence, then we can change the narrative.